Hey guys, so we're going to create a sub D thread. It's really quite simple and you're going to want to use the machine tools add on to get this achieved. So um, when you get the machine tools add on, go into its preferences and what you're looking for is this little section right here, the thread feature. Turn that on. We're going to use it. Okay. We do this kind of fast too. So uh, we're going to delete the whole top section here. That. I'm going to grab this loop, press E, Z, E, S, E, Z. I'm going to do this number, okay? So what you want is a loop like this of faces, just single faces, okay? I'm going to right-click, use the Machine Tools Add Thread feature, and then we can configure it with more or less um, threads or change the sizes of it. I'm going to set it to 3. Okay, there is a little bit of a balance to this, so um, we'll go through that as, as we do this. So uh, this is what we have. Change the uh, threads to poke out a little bit more. All right. Now, this is what you want to do. Press K, use the knife tool. This edge here, we're going to take it. We're going to start running it out in this direction. Fairly gradually, Towards the end here, you want to do it kind of abruptly, a little bit. Okay, it's a balanced thing. But take it right to that corner. Right click. We're going to do the same with this one. Okay. But we're going to stop short of this triangle right here. We're going to cut in this direction. Right click, control, and then we'll cut in this direction. Right click, spacebar, middle edge. Control X, dissolve it. So if you've watched any of my sub D videos, you'll know what this pattern is here. This is more or less a subdivided triangle or a quarter of an inset that creates a little end pole here. Usually end poles and E poles, when you put them on the side of a cylinder, well, maybe not E poles necessarily, but end poles for sure, they cause pension effects. So uh, if we go into object mode and I got subdivision on, you'll see that there is a little bit of uh, distortion going on in here. You can get rid of that by balancing this out a little bit. So you can press GG twice, slide these around a little. And what you're trying to do is stretch that little triangle section out. Okay. And you're going to have to balance everything else around it. Otherwise, you'll get kind of this weird lumpy model or it'll look a little bit wavy. Okay. And you'll see that's working out pretty well so far. So let's go ahead and do that over here as well. You can see the same things occurring, right? But we need to kind of end abruptly here. And um, this isn't the place to do it. So we're going to go back a little bit. We're going to dissolve this edge. Okay. We need to end it a little bit more abruptly just so we can still stretch it out. Right. And um, we're going to do it right here. So we're going to knife cut through there. We can dissolve this. And there we go. So this one will go right here. Stop short. And cut like so. So when this subdivides, we get something like this. Okay. All right. So last but not least, this section up here, this whole loop, Control B, bevel it, mouse will up once. Okay. Now we have that. So this is a really good way to create threads, and it's super fast once you get used to doing it. I've made videos talking about. Um, creating threads before. And honestly, I think this is the easiest, fastest solution, even though it's not really perfect or anything. I don't think you can do it much better than this. I'm going to cut it where I think it needs to go and balance the ones behind it because they're kind of low. We'll talk about some of the caveats to this here in a second. Finish this one out too. Oh, let's take this one back. Actually, I don't know if we can take that one back. Hmm. Take it forward then. A little bit. And we'll bring it down here. All right, so this one, you see, it's, it's already ending down here. So what we're going to do that is we're going to bring these up. I'm going to press G and Z and move them up a little bit and do this gradually so that 
it blends back in. So I can take this now, knife cut in this direction, and we can do the same thing right here. We can dissolve that one. A, control E, and clear sharps. We don't need them with sub D. Okay, it's smooth. You can see it's got a little bit of a weird distortion here. We're going to try doing the bevel first here at the bottom. Let's see if that helps. Probably won't. Okay, yeah, it's still pinching. And so a lot of tutorials, you actually, you'll actually see this. Uh, they'll just be like, oh, it's just what it is, and they'll have a hard time balancing it out. Is the balance. Just move these up a little bit. Okay. We're going to dissolve this. Join these real quick. It's going to create a flat face here for the most part. That'll give you a chance to redo it. All right. You can see it's almost virtually gone now because we were able to. Uh, stretch that triangle out so uh, this is the major drawback of it and that is the topology is just going to go crazy so you're not going to have necessarily great edge flow when it comes to that spiral but um the topo looks pretty good for the most part you might want to still balance it out a little bit more though and uh play around with this idea you know tweak it to do whatever you need it to do. But ultimately, works out quite well. You'll be hard pressed to find a better solution, I think. Even some of my older videos, I don't think those are necessarily as good as this, though. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll check you out in the next one. All right, take care.